Okay, uh, this is video number 45 in our um, electrical circuit series. Um, we're going to have this video and the next video again to practice some more with the superposition uh, technique. And just a reminder, the uh, video playlist is featured at the website digital-university.org. Okay, let's take a look at this circuit. That's a pretty simple one. We have two current sources, one for 6 amps and one for 21 amps, and three resistors, 6 tenths, 1 half, and 4 tenths. We want to determine what is the voltage drop across this resistor here. So what we're going to do is, for part one of the problem, we will eliminate this current source and then determine the voltage drop and then eliminate this current source and determine the voltage drop. And at the end of the problem, we just simply combine uh, the two voltage drops together, keeping in mind what their proper polarities are to determine the net voltage drop that is due to these two separate current sources. So if we eliminate this current source, and of course the current or the circuit just looks like this. So let's just redraw that. What we will have is the one half ohm resistor and the six tenths ohm resistor. These will be in series. And then there's the current source. together with the 4 tenths ohm resistor. And this current source is coming to here. Clearly, this branch of the circuit, which has a total resistance of 11 tenths ohms, is in parallel with this branch of the circuit that has resistance of 4 tenths ohms. We want to know what is the voltage drop across here because if we know that, what is the current that goes through here? If we know that, then of course we can determine the voltage drop. Remember now from, I think it was the second or third video, when you have a situation where two resistors are in parallel and they're being fed by a common current source, the amount of current that flows through this resistor is equal to an expression where the sum of these two resistors is in the denominator and the numerator is the value of the resistor opposite this one, the R2 resistor. And that expression times the current source is the current that flows through this resistor. Or the current that flows through this resistor would have this in the numerator with the sum and the denominator times the current source. So here for our problem is pretty straightforward. Let's just get it in better focus. We want to determine the current that goes through here. So, and that's going to be the same as what goes through here because these are in series. So we have that I five tenths will be equal to the value of the resistor opposite this branch, that's four tenths, this is eleven tenths plus this, that's four tenths, that's fifteen tenths in the denominator, that's the sum of this resistor here, eleven tenths, plus this one, 4 tenths, and the current source in this case is 21 amps. So that's equal to 4 over 10 times 10 over 15 times 21. These cancel, that's 84 divided by 15 amps. So that's the current that flows through here 
that's the current that flows through that resistor. So of course the voltage drop that's equal to the current times the resistance, one half ohm. That's 84 divided by 30. Let's see if this was 90 divided by 30, that would be 3. 84 divided by 30, that's 2.8 volts. So the voltage drop across here is 2.8 volts. So let's just go back up to here. So the voltage drop across this resistor from this current source is 2.8 volts and it will have this polarity then plus minus and here it's 2.8 volts. Now we need to determine the voltage drop that is due across this resistor coming from this current source. So we eliminate this one and let's just redraw that real quick. Okay, now we have this current source of 6 amps and we have the 6 tenths ohm resistor And here, we're removing this entirely, so it just looks like this now, the revised circuit. This is 6 tenths ohms, 5 tenths ohms, and 6 amps. So as the current comes through, it's going to be split between 6 tenths and this series combination of 5 tenths and 4 tenths. So clearly here we have 9 tenths resistor total resistance in parallel with the 6 tenths ohm resistor. So determining what the current through here is going to be pretty straightforward then. We have I of 5 tenths Okay, so here we have, this is 9 tenths right here, so what we want then is the value of the resistor opposite these two, that's going to be 6 tenths. And again, the total resistance is going to be the series combination of these 9 tenths plus this one, 16 tenths, again of course, 15 tenths and the denominator times the current source, that's 6 amps, so that is equal to 6 over 10 times 10 over 15 times 6. These cancel, 36 divided by 15 is the amperage source. Uh, let's see, 36 divided by 16, that right there is 3 times 12, that's 3 times 5, so that's 12 over 5 amps. So the current that flows through here is 12 over 5 amps, now we want the voltage. So that's equal to the current. Try to keep things in better focus. The current is 12 over 5 amps times 1 half. That's 12 tenths. Or that's 1.2 volts. Now let's see. What direction is that going to be in? So we have to go back to our circuit here. 
this now is going to be in this direction, going through here like this. So we have plus minus 1.2 volts. So going back to our original circuit, this current source produces a voltage drop of 2.8 volts with this polarity. This current source of 6 amps produces a voltage drop of 1.2 volts with the opposite polarity. So the net voltage drop across this resistor from both of these current sources is going to be this one, not add this one, but subtract this one because they are of opposite polarity. So we have 2.8 minus 1.2, that gives us 1.6 volts. So we go back to here, finally then we can say the net voltage drop due to both current sources is 1.6 volts with this polarity like this. Okay, and that's it for this problem. As you can see, it wasn't too complicated, but again, it's um, hopefully a good demonstration of some of the basic principles. Um, come back, join us for video uh, number 46. We're going to look at another uh, superposition problem. It will be a little bit more complicated than this one, so come back, um, join us for that video, and let's see if we can solve another problem.